Hello everyone and welcome back to Math Mode. In this video we are going to solve this interesting equation x to the fourth power equal to 9. How can we solve this equation? On the first this equation is easy one and this is how it is. It's not hard to, to solve it but it's really good moment to show you a complex root and a real number roots because on the first side this equation is easy one but right here we will have complex roots. Moreover we have fourth power right here so we need to find four roots. And how can we do this? Take a look. If we bring this 9 on the left we will have x to the fourth power minus 9 equal to 0. And moreover, right here in this case we just take fourth root from both sides and we will have x equal to plus minus fourth root of 9, something like that. But in this case, take a look, interesting moment, we find x to the fourth power minus and this 9 we write as 3 square. So let's do this 3 square equal to 0. So what I just do? I don't take fourth root from both sides, I just bring this 9 on the left and just write this 9 as s 3 square. But in our case we have difference of square because as well we can write this x to the fourth power as x square to the second power and minus 3 square equal to equal to 0. And right here we have difference of squares because a square minus b square we can split it into an identity a minus b and times a plus b. And in our case we have a equal to x square and b equal to 3 and right here we have squares. So as a result what we will have? We will have x square minus 3 and x square plus 3 equal to 0. Really good case because we have a product equal to 0 then this one equal to 0 we will have x square minus 3 equal to 0 x square equal to 3 and if we take in square root from both sides we will have that I write it right here, we will have that our x1 and 2 equal to plus minus square root of 3. So this is our first first two roots. And let's go right here to this to these parentheses. What we will have? We will have that x square plus 3 equal to 0. And if we bring this x square equal to minus 3, we'll have a really interesting case because x square does not touch this constant because x square is always positive, it, it cannot, cannot get this negative sign, so we need to write x square equal to minus 3, x equal to square root of minus 3, and this in real number this equation doesn't have any root, but we are talking about all solutions, so we can write this x as this minus 3 as square root of minus 1 times 3 and we need to know the rule, we can write it as x equal to square root of minus 1 times square root of 3. And if we are talking about the complex complex number, this is equal to i. So as a result we will have our answer that x equal to, or I write it under this, this, this roots, we will have two more roots, x 3 and 4 equal to plus minus i square root of 3. This is our our answer. And of course we here plus minus in this step, but I want to write it in this way. So right here we will have real number root and right here we will have complex complex root. If you still have any question, write a question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.